What's up, everybody? It's your boy, PokePie, coming at you with another video. Today, we are jumping into our second opening of CGC graded cards. New school, old school, sick hollows from some of the most insane card sets that you could get in Pokemon, including Aquapolis, maybe a few alt arts. I threw a little gym in there for you to start the video. I got a second box back from CGC. I hope you like it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below what your favorite card is from the video. Let's jump in. All right, we got this card come in from CGC. I know it's a Houndoom from Aquapolis, and I know that this card could be worth $2,500. Please like and subscribe. Tell me if this is your favorite card from the video. We're going to go ahead and jump in to it. All right, so we're going to all right, cut through this. All right, and then we're going to cut through that side. All right. Oh, okay, I'm super nervous about this. All right, so let's get it open. All right, all right, all right. And then we got the card right there. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. So we know it's a Houndoom. The question is, is this a PSA 10 and is this card worth $2,500? All right. card there's no freaking way start here and we'll, we're gonna start right here and we'll make our way around uh first card of the day is a ooh simseer v star from crown zenith at a nine that's awesome next up we have the ooh 8.5 on the gx dragon knight from sun and moon man this card is so pretty oh look at that color how did that get an 8.5 all right let's keep it going and we're gonna put one in the middle when we hit a big one. <gasps> oh the dragon knight from what is this from uh mewtwo this oh the dragon knight from mewtwo strikes back <laughs> this is an awesome card right here um uh, it's basically from childhood right it's not a hollow or anything it's just a promo card but it's one of my favorite cards so next up we got the sharon's care at a 9.5 from Brilliant Stars. I actually pulled that in the last video. Make sure you go check that out. All right, next up, we got the Raikou from, what is it? Uh, Secret Wonders. I'm about to say Majestic Wonders, but Secret Wonders. And an 8.5. Oh, I was really hoping to get at least like a 9 on that. But man, what a great card from 2007. All right, next up, we got the, ooh, Reshiram Zekron and an 8.5. I don't know like do you see anything wrong with that guy either some whitening at the top right and at the bottom as well it's pretty bad so actually now that i think about it 8.5 for that card is pretty good because there's definitely some bad whitening there all right next up we got the oh lugia lugia the lugia nine full art all right that was like when i first was like man i gotta jump into this again all right next up we got the Oh, all right, Deli Bird from Neo Revelation and an eight. Man, I know those packs are super expensive. Uh, that's a, that's an awesome card. I wish I would have uh, definitely got higher on the grades than that. All right, next up we got the Dark Golbat and an eight. One of the all-time favorite cards. Definitely wish it would have got a higher grade, but uh, that's definitely a great card. So we got a mixture of old cards and new cards in there. It looks like some of the older cards are coming first. Next up, we got the Ooh, Venusaur and a six. Let's go. Wish it was higher, but hey, anytime you get a base card, you got to send it in. Let's go. All right, Tabu Coco and an eight. 
8.5 for the Tabu Coco GX. <sighs> I was really hoping to get hard. All right, all right, we're getting bashed right now. We need we need to we need to run it back. All right, next up, ooh, the Sydney and a nine. Man, I really wish rainbow cards were just a little bit more valuable. Cause look at that card. That's insane. That's probably like a twenty dollar card. I would say. All right, let's keep it going. Next up, we have the Sharon's Care Rainbow in a nine. Oh, if we could have got that in a ten, that's a oh, that's a great card. The rainbow cards are some of my favorite cards because they're just like literally insane. All right, next up, we got the Houndoom EX in an eight point five. There's definitely some widening at the top on both sides, so I mean, I get it. Like some of these cards aren't in the best of shape, but they're older cards that to me that i have so i definitely still try to grade them next up we got the 8.5 dragonite gold oh all right next up we got the blaziken in a 6.5 are you joking me oh uh, that's disappointing that's a disappointing one for sure all right next up we got the Oh, Grant in a 9.5. That's a good card. Obviously, the newer ones, Crown Zenith, I've only gotten like 110 out of it. They're giving a lot of 9.5s. Maybe it's population control. Maybe I'm just not. I don't have any 10s. All right, next up. All right, the Butterfree V in a 9. Let's go. All right, so we're through our first stack now. Next up, we got the second stack, and we'll just start and make our way through it. All right, let's go. Oh, 9.5 on the Zacian V-Star. Not a bad hit whatsoever. Wish it was more, but 9.5 on the Cricketune. So I know these Crown Zenith cards are probably not the most expensive, but I still like to grade some of my favorites. This is just for the collection. You got to collect the ones you love, right? All right, Reggie Drago Altar in a 9.5. Man, could we just get one ten? Oh, all right, come on. Let's go. Next up. Oh, the Charizard V-Star, 9.5. Oh, another card I wish to get in the 10, but that's okay. These cards are insane. Next up, we got the... Oh, Deoxys V-Max in a 10. Blackjack. Oh, my goodness. Sheesh. Look at that card. That card is insane that's going in the collection. It's going up on the wall somewhere. But look at that in a 10, my friends. In a 10. Let's go. What a good hit. All right, next up we got the... All right, we got the Shaman Rainbow in a 9. Okay, okay, okay. Not the VMAX 10, but that's okay. All right, next up. Ooh, the Melanie in a nine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Definitely want to see a little bit better there, but... Or 9.5, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we're back. Next up. Ooh, the... What? <laughs> you couldn't give me a Tim here? You couldn't give me a 10. Look at that card, bro. Oh my gosh. That card is insane. There's nothing on it. How is this not a 10? All right, we're jumping back in it. All right, we still got some hope left. We there's a, I know there's some banger cards we have not hit yet because I have not seen them and I know what I sent in. Next up, ooh, Lieutenant Surge Electabuzz in a mint eight is what you would call, or near mint eight, sorry, near mint to mint eight. All right, I love that because I did not think that car was going to get that high, especially the older they are when it's not a, like super great. All right, we're closing in. We got like seven cards left. Next up, we got the, ooh, Gyarados VMAX in a 9.5. Let's go. Oh, that card is insane. I just want the rainbow cards to be tens just because they look so good. Oh, look at that VMAX Gyarados 9.5. All right. All right. We're getting closer. We are getting closer. Next up, we got the Hitmonlee in a 9. Ooh, anytime you get a base set card in a freaking mint 9. Look at that. I think if it had a swirl, it might have had a shot at a 10. I don't know. Like, let me check. 
There's no whitening. Oh, at the bottom right there on both sides. That's the difference in a 10 and a 9. Oh, that's okay. We'll take a 9 on that. Next up, we got the Mewtwo in a 6.5. Oh, man. What? There's some whitening at the top. I don't know how this got a 6.5. I mean, I guess it would have to be on the hollow pattern or something. Maybe some scratches, but that back does not look bad that bad. I might crack that and regrade that because that was uh, that was not good. All right. Next up, we got a Japanese card and we got the Galarian Berserker in a... Oh my gosh, dude. This is one of my favorite cards that I've ever pulled out of a pack. I remember pulling this out of the Lost Abyss booster box. That's back when they were like $70 for a 20-pack box. Oh. All right. Dude, all right. All right. All right. We're moving. We're moving. We got the Galarian Berserker. All right. Next up, we got the... Ooh! Mint 9 on the Lugia V Altar. Look at that card. Oh, my gosh. We got a Mint. Oh, if we'd had a 10 on this card, we would have never sold it. We would never sell it. We would never sell it. Look at that card, though. That Lugia alt art is probably the most insane card that I have ever seen or pulled out of a pack. All right, we got... We just want to show some love just a little bit. All right, next up, we got the... Oh! Palkia! A gold and a mint nine! Holler at your boy. This is insane! Look at that goal. I think if the goal was more glossy, that would have definitely got a 10. But look at that card. That is an insane pull. We got a 9 on the Palkia. Let's go. Next up, we got two cards left. And it's the... Oh, Kabutops in a mint 9. Oh, like I told you, anytime you get an old school fossil card from 1999 in a mint 9, how can you be upset? Got a little whitening at the top and a little bit at the bottom. That's why it's not a 10. But man, we'll take a 9 on that. All right, y'all, last card. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure to tell me what your favorite card is from this video. It was insane. I'll make sure to put the totals in for sure. All right, let's go. Next card. The Celebi Alt R in a nine. Oh, not the way you want to end it. But hey, one of my favorite cards, one of my favorite artworks that they've ever made. I love the Celebi. This is obviously my personal collection. Thank you everybody for stopping by to the video. Insane opening. We pulled some cards that were worth a lot of money. The Houndoom from Aquapolis was probably the best pull from the entire video. The Lugia Alt Art. There's just some crazy cards that we were able to get out of here. The Deoxys VMAX. Insane. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.